Welcome to the overview of the titrations laboratory. This video is designed just to give you a quick overview of what's available in this laboratory. If you would like specifics on any of the things that are covered here, uh, please watch our other videos on our Vimeo playlist that cover all of these things in detail. So to get started in the titrations laboratory, you will probably want to get an acid and base or perhaps an oxidant and reductant or even an inert salt. I'm going to go ahead and select hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide and those solutions or compounds that you pick will be placed on the stockroom counter. You can have two at a time in the titrations laboratory and you can drag them down to the lab bench. From here we can then take a beaker if we would like, drag it over to the stir plate. Let's say we wanted to add some HCl. As you can see I don't know exactly how much hydrochloric acid I've added there so perhaps I may want to be a little more analytical about it and put the beaker there and grab a pipette and say well let's take 25 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid so we're going to take 25 milliliters we're going to move that old beaker out of the way put it in a fresh beaker and deliver that 25 milliliters so now I know how much HCl has been added I can take a graduated cylinder and I could add that volume of water to the beaker so I know how much is there and if I wanted to add some base or whatever fluid to my burette, I would simply drag up to the top of the burette where it will snap into place. Once it snaps, you just hold it there and then it will fill up the burette. You'll notice that I can add indicators into my uh, reaction here. And if I want to see, well, maybe what's the best indicator, I can click on the indicator chart. And it will pull up the indicator chart where I can see Oh, well, with this reaction, we're looking for a pH 7, so I'm probably going to either want to use bromo cresol purple or cresol red. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's go ahead and use cresol red. And if you hover over the indicator bottles, it will tell you what indicator it is. So we can take this indicator, drag it to my beaker, and then I can perform this titration using an indicator if I would like. If I want to, I can also use a pH meter and a conductivity meter. And I can use those by turning them on and dragging them over to the beaker. Uh, for the pH probe, you may need to calibrate it first. So stick it in the solutions to calibrate and click the respective buttons in the live data view. Once it's been calibrated, you're safe to run your experiment with it. And we'll go ahead and run this experiment. At any time, you can click save data or show a graph. And then the data will be saved as you move through the titration. You can see the graph here is plotting the data in real time. And you can see, oh, there's a change there into our pH region. And hopefully we'll see our covalence point get reached here. And you'll see that pH changed and that color changed. Uh, so once we're ready, we can stop by adjusting the burette, we can stop saving the graph, or excuse me, the data, and then we can save our graph and all of that information will be viewable in our lab book screen. Uh, we could add notes here if we would like, and um, there also is a place to create your own practice unknowns if you would like, or if you've been given an assigned unknown, those will show up here. You can access presets that Beyond Labs has built, as well as saved labs and presets that you have created yourself. Uh, if you would like to create one of those, set up the lab how you would like, click Save Lab. Note that there are also things that you can weigh out on a balance. There's a video about how to do that, as well as a pressure and temperature uh, display on the wall so you know what the pressure and temperature of your lab is at that time. Uh, the last thing that may be helpful to show you is if you want to clean up your mess but do it quickly rather than refreshing your browser, just click on the Clean Up Lab Bench bucket here or the Clear Lab button here, and it will clean up the lab for you and you will be good to start a new experiment. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to support, or of course, check out our other videos where we go into detail on all of these things for your convenience.